have years we store our memories like photos in photo albums and when we open photo albums or photos after many days we'll be we'll be recalling all the memories and the what the good times what we have spent and sometimes after many days our albums may be destroyed or it may be spoiled or it may be uh, getting damaged but we can create a digital album which cannot be erased or which cannot be destroyed so it makes us to be seen same way how after how many days if you see also so i want to create an app or photo album in this class during today's class for creating photo album i'm using coded org software which is simple to create photo album for that now i'm going for coded org software you we'll go for google and search with the name of code.org and open the link of code.org so now for creating an app go for create and click on the option of app lab this is the dashboard of app lab now where we want to design the app so before that first when we want to design the photo album we require photos for that please select the photos from the from your uh, laptop or from your desktop and first store it in the software so for that now select the block of design i'll be putting some buttons for like when i click on that button my i should get that image so for that i'm selecting some buttons i'm selecting 3 or 4 you can select or if you want to uh, select 10 just make it all the button small and you can insert all the buttons but i'll be programming for the buttons later but now i want to add first images for that go for select set properties and select the image like id is for screen one we are i want like image should be see, seen on the screen so that i'm selecting the option of screen one and select an image now go for choose and select the images from your system or from your laptop already i have created the folder like photo click on the photo and open that and select the image um So in the seven now I'll be uploading all the images. I have taken some multiple images of Mickey Mouse and flowers and lion. So for that I'm selecting all the images at a time. And you know, uh, in the album also we'll be putting separate albums for separate images. So in the same way I want to do. And now I'm uploading my file. Cancel. I uploaded my file. Then just move. now for that now now i want to program for the buttons after choosing the images now go for the button and give like this first image instead of for button 1 id i want to give like flower suppose i'm giving flower as a uh, text on which we can see and id are also flower 1 it's easy for you to program flower 1 now i want to change the color of the button right so i am selected one random color now for the now i want to do for second button that is button 2 that is i'll be selecting id as animal so there i'll be putting the image of lion so text as animal okay here id i'll be changing like lion right and i want to change the background also now for now third button now third button i'll be giving doraemon that is cartoon right see doraemon and cartoon For that, cotton I'll be just writing C N to me uh, look uh, neat and to make a curve fast. Now, last one I had given is Mickey Mouse. We all of us like Mickey Mouse, right? Mickey Mouse. Right. 
Now I'll give in the all the text. Now for that I'll be giving the name and ID I'll be remaining same with the button four only. So the variations I'm using the buttons ID is different. Right. Now I have program for all my buttons. Now I should give the code for each button. Now first button ID. For let's say what is the button ID first one I'll give one like flower one for choosing the flower. So now select the image of which was already uploaded of flower shoes. Now I select a program for first button and let's see is it going to work or not. Click on the run and click on the flower. Right, it's working. Now in the same way, now let's program for animal, cartoon and Mickey Mouse. For that, I'm selecting on event block. ID next one I'm given as animal. So that is lion. Set property. So in the set property select of lion is what I'd given the name for button four. Now we are programming for the screen. Select the screen and change the image. Image. Now select the image. That is animal for lion. All right. Now I want to program for cartoon. Select the property and give it as like what ID we had given for cartoon. That is Doraemon. For that select the set property. Now change the ID as uh, image for screen one which you want to see image and select the image of Doraemon now. Right. Now last one had given uh, ID as button four. I have not changed the ID for the fourth one. Button four, set property and select the ID that is Mickey Mouse. That is for, for screen. And now select the image. Choose, select the image of Mickey Mouse. Now my programming part is done. Now let's see the output or the result for a program. I'm clicking on Mickey Mouse, I got the Mickey Mouse. Now if I'm clicking on the Doraemon, I'm getting Doraemon. Animal, flower, right? Yeah, in this way you can design. If you feel like I'm getting the on middle of my screen, means just go for design and change the positions of the labels like what you're giving. So it won't be interrupting me in the middle of the screen. So if I click the animal, if I click the cartoon, Mickey Mouse, flow. So in this way you can program and you can create an album very simple and very easy for creating. And I'm, I'll be providing the coding link in the description box. Thank you.